I could find a better way to find higher ranked opponents. Higher ranked opponents. That's probably why I keep on getting lower freaking points, even though I've won by over 50. Oh, one more person. This is the way to tell me to take this. Practice this the difference in skill and improve. And nobody likes to practice. I wonder what my record is because I lost probably like 10 altogether.
Oh freaky time, oh my god, another low wrecked opponent. This is a tactic that they use on here that I don't know how they're doing it, and I don't care how they're doing it, but they basically freeze up the game somehow and make you have to quit in order for you to be the Q and they get the win or whatever. I don't know why they keep on doing this. It's not going to change nothing. You better gain points for DQs anyway. And it's probably going to only drop me down by like a but probably gonna drop me down by like 10 because I'm not gonna sit up here wait all day for them to restart the match. It's not that serious. But it's still a stupid ass tactic that they like to use and it's just dumb. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit. Freaking match. Yeah, I don't care. Let me try one more match. And that kind of happens all the time on here. People just quitting just to quit or they freeze up the game to try to make themselves win or whatever. Good in the first round. Get four points for putting on that type of performance. That's messed up. I'll try one more. See if I can find somebody ranked. If I find somebody ranked, I might play for a little while longer. 
I did all that, all those counters, all those combos, and they gave me nothing for being in there. Uh, I played this person before. Hope you approved or at least practice. Alright, good. Improved a little, I guess. And they gotta really do is practice. I wish there was a ranking scale where you just play people within your rank. Like they keep on giving me beginners or people who have a match or play a match. Yeah, he was getting destroyed. Of course, he wants to quit. I have a problem with them quitting because, you know, like, Lawrence is not, like, trying to DQ me for they can take the steal the points or whatever. I don't know how exactly those people be doing it, but I guess quitting is not that bad because it's better than them freezing the game up to make you want to leave or to try to outweigh you to see if you're going to leave the game or whatever so they can steal your points by forfeit. I don't know how the game could just freeze because I'm not sure if they're lowering their connection or what they're doing, but they're doing something that just makes the game freeze completely without DQing them or reestablishing their connection. And somehow they win. Bullshit tactics. Yeah, this is gonna be the last one. Yep, yeah, that's our thought. Do something. Come on. All right, come on. Good, but don't know how to manage the freaking energy. Probably doesn't practice enough for it. Just a beginner. Who knows?
Hey, you know, you're not really allowed to do a lot of moves and stuff. You can still walk around and stuff. Just doesn't use anything, but you can't really block or nothing. But that's why I'm just going to just tee off on him. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. 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 Yeah, that's he probably better than me. Or at least make it a more competitive match. As soon as he loses so easily, he didn't know about the energy thing. So, wherever his energy got low, I just start hitting with four point strikes or whatever. Four and three point strikes or whatever. Until my energy got low, then I backed off. Probably play a little bit more later. See if anybody's better just on later.